Welcome back to Web Cafe AI, where we do daily artificial intelligence videos for your personal and business life. Now, if this video looks different, it is we have a new setup here. I mean, I can move around, I can jump around. We plan on streaming very soon later this month. We're going to show a fully AI automated drop shipping store done completely live in one sitting. If it takes me 18 hours, I'm going to do it for 18 hours. If it takes me 24, I'm gonna do it for 24 hours, so make sure to stay tuned for that stream. You're gonna be able to learn a lot. But without further ado, for this specific video, we're gonna be looking into setting up an AI automated flow specific to Shopify. Now, before we jump in a little further here, let me know how the audio is sounding. We are still testing it out here as this is a new setup. So I'm trying my best to make sure to give you the best quality when it comes to audio. But as you'll see here, we got cool little things we could do with these videos now. And more specifically, I hope to see you in the stream coming up as you know, you'll be able to talk to me live and directly. But without further ado, we're gonna try ahead, go ahead and start every video off with kind of giving an overview like this. And then we'll jump into the tutorial side of the video. Please give me feedback in, uh, on the video. Let me know if you like this new style. Let me know what you wanna see. We have a lot more capabilities with this new setup now. As you see, we have a green screen now. So, you know, I can come up, go out of the frame slide back in the frame, stuff like that. But let's go ahead and jump in. So essentially our plan for today's video is we're gonna set up a flow where, where we add a image of a specific product we're selling. It will automatically fill the title, description, every relevant variable into Shopify and use AI for all the relevant information. So let's go ahead and start today's tutorial and let's go ahead and do a little transition. There we go. And now we're into this screen mode here. You'll be able to see more behind me and we can go ahead and jump into this. So let's go ahead and start a new zap here. I'm gonna go ahead and call it, uh, we'll do Shopify product made. And one thing I wanna point out here is this is gonna be add to our new playlist here where we're integrating AI into e-commerce. So if you're more interested in more tutorials in this kind of niche, check that out there. But for now, let's go ahead and start. All right, so the first thing we need to do is we need to set up a trigger here. We're gonna do a trigger of Google Drive. Essentially, the purpose of this trigger is we're going to be providing the underlying product image we're dealing with here. So we're going to say new file in folder and continue here. And we're going to choose our account. We're going to do our courses here at Web Cafe AI. And we're going to continue here. And then we don't have to really choose the drive. We just need to choose the folder. For us, it's going to be in YouTube Zaps. And then we have it called Shopify product. There we go. And then we're going to continue here. We'll test this. Okay, so the trigger works. If we jump over to our drive here, this is the folder we connected it with. And I went ahead and just put in an example product image here, you know, an AI generated image of sunglasses here. Now here is the key thing you need to do when uploading a product image in this context is whatever the name of the product image is gonna be the context we have when creating the product. Now what's great about naming a image file is you really have the ability to put sentences here. So if you really wanted to go the extra length here, you can put a lot of information here, but as you'll see when we proctor out our GBT formatting, we're gonna be able to add context there as well. For now though, we have the context for this specific image, purple and gold brim sunglasses, modern, sleek, and high quality. So I went ahead and just found that specific data right there. I'm just gonna search that uh, title here. So you see it shows up right here. Perfect, let's go ahead and continue the selected record here. And just before we do the uh, AI that's gonna be correlated with this, let me just show you the capabilities of the variables we can input here. Now, one thing is important here, and one thing to know is when you're dealing with actions that are native to Zapier, we still have the ability to call upon those customly through API if there's certain variables we can't necessarily manipulate. What do I mean by that? Let's go ahead and just first create a product. And then essentially, let's say with all this information that we can input, through here, there is a piece of information that we can't necessarily input, but it looks like Shopify has most of it. If there was one, we could do a custom call here, but it looks like it has most of it, so we don't necessarily have to worry here. Let's go ahead and start off by creating our title for a Shopify product. We're gonna add a chat GBT block here. We can do the event of conversation and continue. Choose your account. Continue. All right, so then we got a couple of stuff here. I'm gonna go ahead and up my model to GPT-4. You could use 3.5 in this context if you chose to do so. And then everything else looks good here. We'll go ahead and rename this to a memory key of shop prod. And then let's go ahead and say, based off the product description, semicolon parentheses. And then we're gonna go ahead and put the title, the underlying image here. 
generate a product title. Now we're gonna give a lot of stuff here. So we're gonna do uh, context. Uh, we'll do, actually we won't do context. Let's go ahead and do this. We'll say parameter, make sure to include, and then we're gonna just do a keyword here. We'll just say uh, cafe glass. Maybe that's the company, cafe glass Inc. And then we'll do comma max of, you know, five to eight words. And then what we can do here as well is let's first just see what this output looks like. Let's see what it's like the direction it's going and then we can kind of proctor it a little bit more. There we go. So based off the context we provided, it says cafe glass ink, sleek purple gold brim glasses. Now, if you have multiple categories or multiple, you know, different variations or variants of products. So maybe you have a sunglasses uh, category and you have a shirts category. What I would suggest you do in that context is set up a filter block here, or sorry, set up a pass block. And then you can basically go down, you know, the specific route you'd wanna go down depending on the product you're dealing with. So in this context, because let's just say hypothetically we're going down the sunglasses path, we can say generate a product title, make sure to include uh, UV ray protected. So rather than asking for a specific keyword here, we're gonna ask for it to give its own interpretation of that specific uh, inquiry there. We're gonna continue here, retest this action, and then this should be sufficient. All right, perfect, Clafe glass ink, UV protected purple gold sunglasses. And honestly, because I want a little bit more of that information, I'm gonna go ahead and increase this to 12 words. Obviously, choose the amount of words you would wanna do in the context of your product. There we go, Cafe glass ink, modern sleek UV protected purple and sunglasses. Let's go ahead and add a formatter block here. And we're just gonna do that for the purpose of removing the quotation marks, as I don't think you want quotation marks in your product, <laughs> unless maybe that's part of your brand style. Do input here, we're gonna do the output of this. Here we go. And find the quotation marks. And let's just go ahead and replace some empty space, and then we should have our title here. Perfect. Let's go ahead and move to the next, next step here, which is gonna be creating a description for the underlying product here. So due to the fact that we could preface this, what I said earlier, we're setting up a paths and then going down by category, let's assume we're doing that and we're gonna go ahead and assume that the category we're dealing with here is the sunglasses category. So we're gonna say context, this is the sunglasses category for our online store product title. Provide that product title real quick. And then we're gonna do this. And then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna add a little bit more here. So we'll say product information. So maybe there's something in our product title that wasn't necessarily grabbed from the initial data we gave as the original title of the image file. Now, if you're dealing with multiple sentences, when you put the image file, of course, you only do 12 words, it's not gonna be able to grab all the data that you put in that title. So what we can do here is a couple things. First thing is that if you have a lengthy title in your image file, you don't have to worry too much here because of the fact that essentially you don't necessarily have to add the next steps what I'm about to show you right now because product information would be sufficient enough to generate a description, for example, like the four different bullet points. Assuming though our product description, you know, there's certain stuff that's like unilateral in this category, we can go ahead and do this. Um, additional information. We'll say ships, ships in three days, uh, made in Germany, stuff like this, stuff that's maybe like in that specific category is consistent. I'm gonna say generate a product description, uh, use bullet points. Let's do this like Amazon, we're gonna say format use HTML because I believe Shopify can handle that. All right, here we go. I'm gonna up this to GBT4. Here we go. Memory key, we'll do shop descript. So we can get consistent outputs and continue here. Let's test this action. There we go. We got it formatted in HTML for our little bullet points here. Looks pretty cool here. Let's go ahead and just start adding the variables we have so far. So the title, we're gonna wanna use the formatted version. And then let's go ahead and add our product description here. Do this, jump all the way down here, that assistant response message. And then there's other stuff here that is relevant. So assuming we're going down the paths, we'd be like, okay, well, we have a product type of sunglasses, the vendor, web cafe, 
or what is it, Glass Ink. Glass Ink, I'll just say that's the vendor's name. And then essentially you could add tags here. We could say when it would be published, we could add a you know price, let's add a price here, let's say 999. Inventory policy, image URL, we can use the original image URL that we provide us. So we're gonna do file, exist but not shown. If you want more additional images here, you can grab them, put them here. Then we have SKU is published, we'll say true. And then point to sale, we'll just say false. Hit continue here and then I could test this action. So let's go ahead and just see what it looks like on the front end real quick. Pretty, pretty cool stuff here. So as you see to the left or to the right of me, um, we got our title, we got our description in HTML, we got a price. Um, let's go ahead and see what this looks like on the front end. Also, I want to point out though, real quick, notice how it has sunglasses here, sunglasses uh, for the type and the vendor's glass ink. And obviously, because I already have some presets for certain categories, you can ignore this. This is just my presets. Um, but man, this is really cool here. So we got the title, we got the description, all automatically put on there and ready to go. So now you see the ability to essentially just drag one image and then it'll automatically create everything associated with that product. Let's take this one step further here. And as I said earlier in this tutorial, you know, notice that when we look at the ability inputs when it comes to the data and we can push forward to Shopify, there is one major section here that's missing. And that major section that is missing is our search engine listing. So essentially, in theory, if you didn't want to go with the standard SEO listing here, this is where you would do the custom API calls in order to ensure maybe more optimized meta description and maybe a more optimized page title. I'm just going to go ahead and delete this as this is part of our software marketplace. Don't want random glasses on there. So there is a ton more you could do in this context, but what is super cool now is in theory, what you can do is you can go back to that Google Drive folder, you could drag in 10, 20 images, and then for every single one, it would automatically create out a product that is associated with your company and the description and jet GPT props you prompted on. Let me know what you think of this new style. I know we're still working on the audio, so the audio might not be amazing on this first video. We're still trying to figure out the best way to do the audio because this is a new setup. Let me know what you think though overall about this new structuring of the tutorial. If you wanna learn more about ChatGPT and automation and how to do that in your personal or business life, check out the playlist at the end of this video as we're showing you how to leverage AI when it comes to specifically e-commerce in this context. Without further ado, make sure to like the video. It's completely free and it helps us here. And go ahead and subscribe if you want daily artificial content. And one last thing I wanna say before we uh, end this video here, tune into the stream. It's gonna be super cool. Like we're going to show you from start to finish how to build a fully AI automated drop shipping store. This hasn't been done before. If you wanted it to be done, it would cost $10,000, seven to $10,000. I mean. The, the stuff and the value you're about to learn is going to be crazy. But on top of that, you can talk to me directly. I'll be looking at the chat. We're going to be streaming on TikTok, um, Twitch, and YouTube. And actually, let me go ahead and just show you that real quick. So I know the cropping isn't amazing right now. But if you go to the Web Cafe resources or just click our link tree, it brings you to this. Go ahead and come down here to our Twitch. I'm going to actually going to link the Twitch down below as well. Go ahead and start following us on Twitch if you use Twitch already. Um, if you don't, it's okay. We're going to be streaming on YouTube anyways. Super cool stuff here. I look forward to seeing you in that. But without further ado, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for tuning in. And yes, surprise, I'm an AI avatar. Make sure to explore more here at Web Cafe, where we demystify AI for your personal and business life. Until next time.